Hey guys, Wes here with RockyMountainATVMC.com and as you can see, we are in the most beautiful place here on planet Earth, my favorite place to come and recreate, and that is Moab, Utah. Now, we are lucky enough to only live a few hours north of here, and so we get to come and recreate here and check out all the trails and everything that Moab has to offer, but we thought this would be an awesome opportunity to put together our absolute must-hit trails, whether you're planning your first trip here to Moab or maybe you rarely get to come out here. And so Moab has so much to offer. It is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, the, la the snow-capped LaSalle's behind me and the fins out on the rim. This place is just some, something that everybody has to experience. So basically, if you're planning your first trip to Moab, these are trails that you've got to hit. And number one on our list is Hell's Revenge. So Eric is gonna tell you what you need to know. All right, we're on Hell's Revenge. This is a nine mile loop. It's rated a six out of 10. It is difficult to extreme is what they rate it as. Uh, it is a cool loop. It can be done as a loop. Um, the cool thing about this trail is it is probably the most popular. Anytime I bring someone new to Moab, I take them to this trail because this is what Moab is. Uh, it's, it's awesome, we got steep climbs, we have off cambers, we have just stuff that blows your mind. And, and if you've never been on the Slick Rock, it is absolutely awesome. Just amazing traction. So the cool part about this trail too is that it has a bunch of obstacles that are pretty gnarly, but you can also bypass them. So there's things like, you know, Hell's Gate, we have the hot tubs, we have the escalator, um, tip over challenge. You know, there's, there's a bunch of cool obstacles on here, but totally safe to go around. You can totally do this with a stock vehicle. And this is, again, a must hit. We're on Fins and Things. This is a 9.8 mile trail. It's rated a four out of 10. That's an intermediate. Uh, this is stereotypical Moab. This loop trail uh, offers you know, it's a slick rock, it's got climbs, it's got drops, it's got off cambers. There's even a cool little obstacle out here called Kenny's Climb that's a lot of fun. But uh, it's a loop and there is a small fee to get into Sand Flats Recreation Area, but definitely a must hit trail. All right, guys, this is Behind the Rocks, one of our favorite trails down here in Moab. This is rated a seven out of 10. So one step up from the other couple trails that we've shown you. It's the most difficult trail that we're, uh, that we're showing you in this video and for good reason. It's got a lot of the more difficult options as far as the obstacles go. And uh, it's also got some of the best views down here in Moab. So you've got some options with this trail. You can make a loop out of it if you want to. Um, there is a little bit of backtracking involved when you do that, but it's roughly 30 miles. And then they've also got another option called Tiptoe Behind the Rocks, which cuts out a lot of those harder obstacles. And so you can still get those amazing views without having to do all the technical driving. But yeah, this some of these obstacles, uh, you've got High Dive, you've got Up Chuck, Hummer Hill. And when you get out there, you've got White Knuckle, which they're all properly named and they will test driver and machine. So. Yeah, one of our favorite trails here in Moab. I'm standing here under Picture Frame Arch, which is one of the spots that you just have to stop and grab a picture. Yeah, once again, just one of our favorite trails down here in Moab. All right, guys, welcome to Poison Spider Mesa. Probably my top two trails down here in Moab, and for dang good reason, check out this beautiful, epic view behind me. Basically this trail, let's break it down, is 13.5 miles. It's an in and out trail, unless you want to do a point to point. And that's actually what we like to do with this trail. We link it with Gold Bar Rim and Golden Spike. Now, one thing you're gonna have to figure out is trailering between those two situations if you choose to do that. But basically this is a six out of 10 trail. Um, it's rated difficult to severe, but uh, it's, it's stock vehicle capable. So. There are some other optional obstacles that you can choose to do if you want to get more excited. Uh, I'll just name a few of those. S-Turn Hill, 
Uh, the V-Cracker Wedgie and Tippy Dome are some of the more notable obstacles on this trail. But like I mentioned before, some of the best views down here in Moab, like the one behind me. We've also got Little Arch up here that we're gonna go check out. It's got some super amazing views down the river. Um, but yeah, that's Poison Spider Mesa, one of my absolute favorites here in Moab. All right, guys, those are our must hit trails down here in Moab, Utah in your UTV. Now, if you guys have been to Moab before and have some other tips and tricks to help other viewers out, be sure and leave those in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure and leave us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already, and thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.